Air 24 Echo Mike, thank you. The wind is calm. Runway 23, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the FS Mania channel. Today we're in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina preparing for a cross-country flight in the magnificent TBM 900. Our destination today is Sarasota, Florida, just south of Tampa on Florida's scenic Gulf Coast. Daher, formerly Cicado, began production of the TBM 900 in 2014. Compared to the TBM 850, the TBM 900 is about 14 knots faster in cruise, uses less fuel, requires less runway for both coming and going, climbs faster, and produces less noise in both the interior and exterior. The TBM 900 model features a number of improvements over the 850, most notably on the exterior is the addition of winglets. These winglets not only improve aerodynamics by reducing drag at high angles of attack, but they are also just downright good looking. The 900's redesigned air engine inlet is more efficient, boosting the PT6A66D's available torque, which increases thrust, which increases speed. The TBM 900 has a Hartzell 5-blade propeller, which was specifically optimized, raising the cruise speed by about 3 to 5 knots while lowering the exterior noise. To improve simplicity and automation, there is a new single power lever, which integrates the power, propeller, and condition lever controls. This single control lever makes it virtually impossible for the pilot to grab the wrong lever at the wrong time. The G1000 also has upgraded displays including an ISA temperature deviation indication, integrated weather radar and MFD map, and automatic landing field elevation inputs to the pressurization controller. The TBM 900 has a seating capacity for up to six people including the pilot and maximum payload of 1,402 pounds. She is 35 feet long, 14 feet high, has a wingspan of 42 feet. Maximum takeoff weight is 7,394 pounds with a fuel capacity of 1,100 pounds, which is 290 U.S. gallons. The Pratt & Whitney PT6A-66D turboprop engine fitted with a 5-blade Hartzell constant speed propeller is rated at 850 shaft horsepower. Maximum cruise speed is 330 knots. Service ceiling is 31,001 feet. Do not, under any circumstances, climb to 31,002 feet. Alrighty then, I'll leave it there. Climb aboard, buckle up, let's fly to Florida. Good morning. Welcome aboard. This is FS Mania's nonstop flight to Sarasota. Our IFR flight plan distance today is 465 nautical miles. Estimated time en route is 1 hour and 38 minutes. I have filed for flight level 260 and the weather en route is mostly clear. There is some convective activity offshore that shouldn't be a factor. So welcome aboard. Sit back, relax, buckle up, and let's fly to Sarasota, Florida. And we're all set to get our engine started, just clear the area, make sure everything looks good, and we'll put on some strobes. Let's get our fuel pump up here and on. Verify that it is operating and indicating it is. We'll bring our starter up here. Two seconds. That's two. NG is above 13. There it is fuel low idle, monitoring ITT and NG, hot start, hung start, looking for NG to be at 50% and we'll wait for starter cutout and ignition cutout indicating oil pressure and oil temperatures coming up. NG's at 39. There's 50 there, starter cutout. That's a good start. We'll bring the lever up into high idle and over into flight idle. Sync up my throttle quadrant there. That's good. Let's get our bleeds on. AC coming on. Nerf set on. And bring these nav lights on. Strobe light off. Come across. 
everything's good there. Fuel comes up into auto, fuel select into auto, that's the booster pump and the trims are on. That's good. Oxygen is set on, everything else looks good up there. And let's let's see if we can pick up an ATIS. Let's see, one two one one nine six five. Let me come over here and there. Charlie. Two nine nine five. We've got that set. And we have Charlie. Awesome. And let's get our. We'll give ground a call and get our. Um, IFR clearance. I think that should do there. And there's ground. It's noisy. A lot of airplanes around here. Hope you can hear me okay. Good morning. Strand ground. TBM 317 X ray. Mike, like to pick up our IFR. TBM 317 X ray. Mike, clear to the Sarasota Airport. We read our vectors after departure. Then it's filed. Common maintain 8,000. Expect flight level 260 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.2, squawk 0316. TBM 317 X ray Mike is cleared to Sarasota via radar vectors, then is filed. Climb and maintain 8000. Flight level 260 within 10. Departure on 192. 0316 on the squawk. TBM 7 X ray Mike, read back correct. All right, that's good. All set up there. I'll run over my checklist. We've got auxiliary booster pump set to auto, fuel selector auto, AP trims are on, cast messages we've checked, they look good. Uh, bleeds on auto, air conditions auto, and I think that's good. And then we can call and get our uh, clearance and uh, the taxi and we'll be ready to get out of here. Strand ground, TBM 7X-ray mic, ready to taxi. We have Charlie. Runway 23 via Charlie Alpha TPM 317 X ray Mike. All right, taxi light comes on. Pull our power back here a little bit into the taxi range. And we'll release this brake down here. Brake has been released. And let's put our on our headset. Looks like the sun's trying to peep up over the horizon there. Good morning, Mr. Sun. Nice to see you today. So we tried to get an early start here just so that we uh, could miss some of the thunderstorm convective activity that's typical for an August uh, morning, particularly along the coast. Okay, so we have got our altitude pre-selected to 8,000. Our heading is, heading bug is on runway heading. That is good, and while we're taxiing, we'll cut on these two items here, pedo and stall heater. We can set our toga takeoff. There we have a flight director. Usually don't like to do anything while I'm taxiing other than taxi the airplane, but I'm just in the interest of time. Put in uh, COM1 there. We 
power the tower in. Okay, that is good. And takeoff flaps set and indicating. I'm going to zoom out our MFD so we can keep up with what's happening out there. And so, okay, I'm just saying it right now. I cannot. These things are driving me nuts, batty. My word uh, to avoid a curse is bollocks. So every time those things go awry, I'm going bollocks. Whatever that means, it means this is frustrating. All right, I want it on about 50 miles. I'm struggling. There's 50. Okay, and I'm gonna declutter that There we go. All right, everything's good. Pressurization, pressurization, good. Inert steps on. We are ready to go. Let's give Tower a call. Strand Tower, good morning. TBM 317 X-ray Mike, runway 23 holding, ready to go. TBM 317 X-ray Mike, Strand Tower, wind calm, fly runway heading, runway 23 cleared for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 23 cleared for takeoff, TBM 7X Ray Mike. All right, we'll put on our strobes, our pulse lights. I don't see anything coming in on the approach. He's back on that power. Entered run. Okay, let's get my view synced up here, bringing up the power, and bring up our torque to 50%, check that the prop is on the governor, should be seeing 2000 RPMs, there it is, I'll set takeoff power before I release, just to be sure I don't over torque, that looks good right there, brakes released and off we go. I can't see a center line, it's so dark. Okay. Engine gauges are in the green, there's the center line. Airspeed, live, there's 90 knots, and up we go. Positive rate, gear up. And a little bit of wind here on the coast. Oh, Nelly. And there's 115, flaps coming up. Y'all damper on, flight level change, get that, and heading, and all the TBM 7 X ray Mike, and away we departure. go. departure, have a good flight. Over to departure, TBM 7 X ray Mike, see ya. Departure TBM 317 X ray Mike 2.3 for 8,000. Runway heading TBM 317 X ray Mike Motor Beach departure. Radar contact four miles southwest Grand Strand Airport. Third rip Savannah. Comma maintained 14,000. Up to 14,000. Direct Savannah TBM 7 X ray Mike. All right, got a little higher altitude here, so up we go. One four thousand. Set there and direct Savannah. Flight plan. Let's highlight Savannah. Go direct. Enter and take us there. GPS. Thank you much. Monitoring our uh, torque here as we climb. I see it's coming down, and we're coming through about five thousand. So we'll pull off the inert set. 
and then we'll just keep an eye on this torque because we know it's going to raise up to uh, we don't want to over torque it's going to raise something so we'll keep an eye it takes about 50 seconds so you really have to commit to that and i'm going to speed us up a little bit since we're heading in the right direction get the deck angle down help the passengers out back there torques at 93 and I'm going to pull it back slightly because I know it's going to keep on coming up. Okay, a little bit of a few clouds out here this morning, not too too many. Beautiful morning here to be flying to Sarasota. Thanks for joining me. peak on that torque about 97 so as we climb that will definitely be coming down and I know Jack Center is going to be our next frequency Jacksonville Center so I'll put them in I believe they are 2675 so let's try to dial in these radios here see uh, the small uh, knob is the one I have Pollux the one I have the most trouble with There it is, and 26, and we are ready for whenever he calls us. Coming up on 10,000 here, so we can ditch our pulse light and our taxi light. And torque's dropped a little there. We'll add some. KBM 7 x Mike, contact Jacksonville Center, 126.75. Have a good trip. Jacksonville Center. 12675 TBM 7X-ray Mike, see ya. Good morning, Jacksonville Center, TBM 317X-ray Mike, 10.3 for 14,000, direct Savannah. TBM 317X-ray Mike, Jacksonville Center, come and maintain flight level 260. Flight level 260, TBM 317X-ray Mike. Okay, so we've been cleared all the way up now. That's nice when you can get that. I think leaving early before the rush hour is helpful. So I'm dialing up right now and there is 260. So pretty much now all we need to do is just monitor our torque as we climb. And we'll look in and monitor all our gauges. Everything is in the green. Electrical looks good. Trims, flaps and the pressurization we are in the climb up to 3000 now so all that's working well and happy to be on the way to florida to visit my if i haven't mentioned it yet my cousin lives there in sarasota and uh, so we're going to go visit him his family go out on his little his big pontoon boat and uh, I like to call the old folky party barge and have some, have some good times there. So off we go. Climbing through transition altitude. Thank you for flight, transition altitude, going standard 299 or two and standard down there. Cross check, we're good, 18.5. And we'll add a little bit more torque. Yep, we are flying with um, for flight, which is, uh, I highly recommend. Uh, it's a great tool for a simmer and it is connected up with X-Plane. So that works nice. You can see here our uh, route is to Savannah and then Gainesville and Lakeland, which is on the arrival, which I have not put in yet. We will do shortly, but before we do, um, let me zoom us in here. You can see that Charleston up is up ahead. There's some uh, stuff that's showing up offshore on four flight. I've got active sky plugged in using real weather. And so I guess we'll wait and see if any of that stuff shows up. Uh, looks like it might be a little bit cloudy up around 
Charleston uh, at the worst. So uh, there's a few things in Charleston. Uh, definitely fun facts I want to talk about. I'll check back in in just a few minutes and we'll chat a little bit about Charleston. See you then. Charleston here. This looks like um, Charleston Harbor. Yep, there's the battery and Fort Sumter's out in this area right here. And uh, Cooper River Bridge right there I want to talk about. And Patriots Point, I can see the uh, USS Yorktown right there. Uh, Charleston's the uh, largest city in the state of South Carolina. It was founded in 1670. It is defined by cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, and pastel antebellum houses, particularly in the elegant French Quarter and the Battery Districts. The Battery Promenade and the Waterfront Park both overlook Charleston Harbor. Off of Fort Sumter, which is out there, is the uh, federal stronghold where the first shots of the Civil War rang out across the water. Um, in August of 1886, Charleston was nearly destroyed by an earthquake. The shock was estimated to have a, a magnitude of 7.0 on the Richter scale. The bridge um, down here, the Cooper River Bridge I mentioned, also, also known as the Ravenel Bridge, uh, it's a cable stayed bridge. I love it. It's, um, it's really a thing of beauty. It's one of my favorite um, bridges anywhere. And it uh, connects downtown Charleston to Mount Pleasant, and it's got a main span of 1,546 feet. Um, which is, I think, the third longest among cable-stayed bridges in the Western Hemisphere. One other thing about Charleston, I wanted to mention Patriots Point. There's a Naval Maritime Museum there, and it is located in Mount Pleasant at the mouth of the Cooper River. There's an aircraft carrier there we talked about. I talked about Yorktown, the USS Yorktown. It's one of 24 Essex-class aircraft carriers built during World War II for the United States Navy. She was named after the Battle of Yorktown of the American Revolution. War and is the fourth U.S. Navy ship to bear the name. Uh, Yorktown was commissioned in 1943, uh, April of that year, and participated in several campaigns in the Pacific Theater of Operations, earning 11 battle stars and the Presidential Unit Citation. She served with distinction in the Korean War. Ship was later modernized and served for many years in the Pacific, including duty in the Vietnam War. And later in her career, she served as a recovery ship for the Apollo 8 space mission. So, let's just check in and see how we're doing here. Our ground speed is really nice this morning, 326 knots. Can't complain about that. We are right now direct Savannah. We're 60 miles, 59.2 miles away. Should be there in 10 minutes. So, from Savannah, here we come. Charlie, contact Jack Center, 133.3.